Cause and I'll give you a hand. Radio Nigeria, uplifting the people and uniting the nation. Good morning and welcome to this week's edition of the program, your program, Have Your Say. Have Your Say is an audience participatory program that highlights progressive social, economic, and political activities in Nigeria as we continue on the train of change to enhance good governance. On Have Your Say, like I said, is a, a participatory program. Therefore, you can contribute your quota by joining the uh, conversation on our social media handle on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. And we're also live streaming on YouTube. All of this in one word. Have your say with the capital HYS completing the have your say. One word. You can also call us on phone on 0807 6771. I take that again. 0807 six double two six seven seven one or zero seven zero five one four nine double three two four i take that again zero seven zero five one four nine three three two four and the last number you can reach us on is zero eight one eight zero seven five eight two seven six you can call us on all these three numbers and you can also send us sms or whatsapp messages to zero nine zero two eight zero eight zero triple two i take it again zero nine zero two eight zero eight zero triple two have your say is your program you can feel free to raise your concerns about any issue in your area that promotes good governance. I am Ayo Oyalowo. Welcome to Have Your Say. Good morning. Once again, I am Ayo Oyalo. Uh, this is Have Your Say. And um, like we said earlier on, it's an audience participatory program. Therefore, we expect that people will call in and all what not. But please, when you are com calling in, remember this. For your incoming calls, remember to turn down the volume of your radio set so that, you can, so that we can avoid a holdback. Please turn down 
the radio set, the volume of your radio set whenever you are calling in so that we can avoid a hold back. Kindly highlight areas of concern around you. My guest this morning will be the Minister of Transportation. Therefore, most of the questions I'll be expecting today should come in around and relate to the Ministry of Transportation. Please keep your questions concise. Make your contribution short and simple so that others can also have their own say and contribute so that the Minister can respond adequately. Have your say is your program. Welcome. Once again, I'm Ayo Oyalo. Have your say is your program. I now in I have in the studio right now my guest, the Honorable Minister of Transportation, the former governor of River State, the Lion of Ibima, Honorable, right Honorable Rotimi Amechi. You are welcome, sir. Good Thank morning. You. So, firstly, I will I will take my shot before I allow Nigerians to start taking their shot at you. So please. The, the lines are blinking, but before they start calling in, let me quickly ask you some of these questions that we have before the audience come in. At the inception of this program, I mean of this administration, you were appointed the Minister of Transportation. One of the very first thing you did was to complete the real project that link Kaduna and Abuja. That's Kaduna State and Abuja. Please tell us why is this, why is this your first priority, sir? <laughs> Well, there were other things we did at the same time. We had to do the reform in uh, MPA uh, to ensure that goods that goods that were left at the airport were cleared, and that goods would stop sitting at the airport for uh, two months. Uh, all that, but one that was visible to Nigerians was the railway because it was uh, would you call it an innovation? <laughs> there, were, there was narrow gauge. But it was a low hanging fruit, and then we had to write to the president requesting the president to kindly approve some amount of money that we needed to use to complete it. I had to approach the Catholic Church because, again, the right of way uh, went across the hospital owned by some sisters in the Catholic Church. They kindly approved, we provided alternative land to them, and uh, paid compensation. And that was it. Thank you very much, sir. Could you highlight uh, such other rail projects across the country that have either been completed or the ones you are working on? Because truly, uh, anybody will ag agree with me that uh, rail projects are quite important to the development of any country. So are there other projects that you have completed or that you are almost completing? The other project that we... Specifically to... rail, sir. Yeah, I know. I'm not talking, I'm not talking maritime or <laughs> aviation. The other project that we, we, we have nearly completed, I would say nearly because we have not completed the stations. In fact, there are two now that we are close to complete, completing. The first one is the Itabewari rail line. It's been about, it was abandoned for more than 32 years. Now it's 34. But we had to invest uh, over two to $300 million to bring it to completion. We, we had to rehabilitate the rail tracks between Abiyokuta, no, Ajokuta, Ajokuta and uh, Lokoja to Itabe. And then we, the, it was not designed to have stations because it was made, made, meant only for uh, uh, raw materials, uh, emanating from the iron ore materials emanating from that area that to be conveyed to Ajokuta rolling mill, after which they then be converted to the seaport for export. Uh, have we completed the rail lines? Yes. The tracks are completed. Are we working on the stations? Yes. Are the stations completed? No. Have we commenced test runs? Yes. People have been using it for now to see the speed. To the total uh, number of uh, this is about uh, 350 kilometers of rail line. That's that we've done. I, I, in fact, I have a private uh, a question here. Some people have said um, your ministry have um, declared that rail line free for now that Nigerians are taking. Is it true? Yeah, we said they can be using it for free. Why Between we... now and when? 
Uh, well, I think we will we, we'll put commercial listing on it as soon as we complete the stations. Okay. So. Because the stations are not completed, so anybody who wants to use it can use it free of charge. Then we're about completing the Lagos to Ibadan. In fact, as we're talking now, they've done more than 60-something kilometers of track laying okay. out of the 156 kilometers. So you, I think we have about 80-something like something kilometers of track laying. <coughs> we believe that before the election in February, we should be able to complete track lane while the stations are ongoing. Okay, thank you very much. Before your uh, administration comes, I mean, came in before you became the minister, there have been uh, rail lines that tra traverse the li lines, I mean, length and breadth of Nigeria. What are the situation of these lines, apart from the ones you have uh, rightly mentioned now? Are they being revived or government has embarked no, on new ones? No, we're concessioning that narrow uh, gauge. is a total of about. Uh, is a total of about three hundred and I mean, I mean uh, three thousand and uh, five hundred kilometers between uh, Potako to Meduguri and then Lagos to uh, Kano, Kafanchan, uh, Kaura, and Amada. Uh, we got talking with GE and ran into a hitch after we agreed after they became the preferred bidders for your, for the narrow gauge uh, concessioning. Uh, luckily for us, they had a, cons a consortium made up of four other companies. Uh, one of them took over uh, since GE has withdrawn, and GE withdrew because they had crisis in their company, you know, not because of any other thing. Uh, we are currently negotiating with the new uh, leaders of the consortium, and hopefully we believe that uh, before June next year we should complete the negotiation. Thank you very much. Um, just yesterday, sir, you did mention after the FEC uh, meeting that about 600 million naira was approved to take care of the National Freight Office in Gibia and to aid five. movement of uh, good using the railway. Is this completion? No, I didn't say using the railway. <laughs> Sir? I, I didn't say using the railway. I, and it's not even 600, it's about 551 million uh, okay. naira. Uh, clinics, administrative buildings, and all that just to transact business at the border post. So, are and you this, sure that the completion is, is of this time is, uh, st yes, it's, it's, yes, it's, it's feasible? Weeks, 36 weeks. It's 36 weeks. No, I, think, I think it's 36 weeks. Okay, 36 weeks. Thank you. It's enough. Uh, the Minister for Works uh, and Housing housing and Power. Uh, he's doing his best there to get that crisis sorted out. Uh, I agree that the road around the seaports are uh, within manageable control of the of the MPA. But we're focusing on getting the uh, uh, railway functioning. Because if the railway is functioning, the weight we are putting on that road will be transferred to the, to the, rail. To the rail. So how many of our ports are now functioning of, on a full scale? You can't say full scale because uh, uh, there is a downturn on the economy. The downturn on the economy also affects uh, tra trade transactions. I hope you know that. Okay. So you can't, you can't function when there are no businesses to perform. Uh, but it's improving gradually. It, it fell, and uh, with the improvement in the economy, it's rising. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. As the Minister of Transportation, sir, does your ministry have a policy on support or partnership with transport owner to improve transportation means for the teaming populace? We're not. We're not. We're not. Uh, we don't execute if you talk about land transportation apart from railway. The rest rests in the hands of local government and the state. So what we do is make policy. Kind of yeah, make policy. Make policy. They, they implement. Okay, so how much of this policy have you made? Looking at the fact that we are in the December period now, people will travel a lot. Oh, that fall within the okay, we fall within the Federal Road Safety Commission and that of the state, so we don't fall into that category. Finally, before I open the phone lines, there is this re-election bid for President Mamadou Buhari to have his second term in office. You have been given the task again as the campaign director general. What is the next level? especially looking at the transport sector of the nation. We, we've, almost, we've almost said all that you to say in that regard in terms of uh, railway. Uh, you, you will agree that the president is focusing on infrastructure. The reason for focusing on infrastructure is that it creates employment, it creates trade, and creates business. Yeah. This is Have Your Say. You can join us on by calling us on 0807-622-6776. Six seven seven one. Once again, zero eight zero seven six double two six double seven one or zero seven zero five one four nine triple. I mean double three two four zero seven zero five one four nine three three two four. Or finally, you can call us on zero eight one eight zero seven five eight two seven five. 
You can also send your messages via SMS or WhatsApp to 0902-808-0222. Feel free to raise your concerns. My name is Ayo Oyalo. This is Have Your Say. Okay, the phone lines are on, and I'm going to be having my first caller now. Okay, Please, your okay. name and where you are calling from. Hello? Is it? You're on. Hello? Hello, good, good morning. morning. Can you hear me? I can hear you clearly. Good morning, Minister, sir. Good morning, ma'am. My ma. name is Odaze. I'm reaching you from Ila, Delta State. Sir, the previous administration started dragging the river Niger. Ila is sitting on the river Niger. Did you continue with the project? And then, of course, the port on its support. What are you still working on it? The dredging is supposed to get to Barrow in Niger State. Sir, we will be very, very grateful if you pursue that project religiously and do it for us. Thank you. God bless Nigeria. God bless you. Thank you, Ada. Good morning, you are on your name and where you are calling from. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, your name and where you are calling us from, please. My name is Wazi Wisdom and I'm calling from Obia local government university. Good morning, Wale. Yeah. I really want to commend the Minister of Transportation. He has been doing tremendously well. I can I never believe an equation can be this active like that of Honorable Chief Christian Amishin. We are really grateful that we have somebody like him in that that government. The, the real transport has been so nice. Everybody, even me, I traveled to the rail transport. I was surprised. As Nigeria got into this level. I really want to say thank you to him and thank you to the thank you. of uh, Manu Dwari. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. You are on. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Okay, Ben from Enugu. Good, yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, good morning, how are you? Enugu <laughs> Rail. And then I thought, I saw, I think they were what part of the top city, the top, the top, what part of the city. It was a state, I think, I'm trying to stop what city. I can't hear you well. Ben, you, are, you, might, you might have to call us back. We can't. Hello, you, can you hear me well. now? Okay, I can hear you. I can hear ahead. you now too. Yes, I, I, what I'm trying to point out is the way it's like, how they do it. I can't hear He's you. talking about the traffic on Enugu to somewhere. But I think you have to call back Ben, please. The line is quite bad. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> please, your name and where you are calling us from. I saw my team. I'm calling from the Flacco State. Okay. Good morning. Good morning, honorable days. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have this question for you, sir. You have good news. Why is any road project that concerns information is always either delayed or not awarded? Just like in the case of uh, a private project that has taken uh, a dozen years not to complete, I would have heard that uh, it is going to be concession. Sir, thank you have a nice day in Abuja. Please, can you repeat your question? Your line is not clear. Can you repeat it, please? Did you hear what he said? Good morning. Hello. Your name and where you are calling us from? Uh, my name is Mohammed. I'm calling from Adamawa. Mohammed from Adamawa, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I have a question to the Honorable Minister. Is there any plan to 
Uh, any plan for a rail to come to Adama State? That is the Lagos Meduguri rail line. Anyway, when, when we <laughs> when we start, you want me to start responding? No, you can just take down the question so that you can take about five. Protocol Meduguri. Protocol Meduguri. Okay. Thank you, sir. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Oh, unfortunately, the network. <laughs> we know the network is bad. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Your name and where you're calling from? Hello, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello? I can hear you. We can hear you. Please go ahead. This, this is Amit from Mangulo Kangos, my plateau state. From Manguluka government. Hamid, good morning. Plato State. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. My my one is just like an advice to the minister and the other cabinet of the present government in Nigeria. Hello? Go ahead. You said? I want them to please, if, if, if there is any project on ground, they should please. Not all Nigerians. Let them complete that project before citing another one. We need continuation. Okay, where are you we calling from? I'm calling from Plateau State. From Mango? Okay. What is yes. Thank you. He's saying that if there's any project, yeah. they should make sure they complete it for them. Before it any project in their area, he wants them to, complete, to be completed. Not in our area, in the whole country. In the whole, whole country, country, not in my area. Okay, then. Thank you for Mango. Yes. Thank you. Good morning. This is how you say. From. You yeah. asked me to repeat my question, sir. Okay, please go ahead. What I was saying is this: Why is it that any road that concerns Igbo nation, Igbo nation, is either not a word or delay? Just like the one we have a railway project that has to be consulted when why others were, were built by federal government men. Why is Yubo man different from any other species in Nigeria? Okay, thank you. The minister will respond to your question. Okay. So can I do that? Yeah, he will respond. Don't worry. Thank you. Just keep listening. Good morning. You are on to have your say. Your name and where you are calling us from? Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm exactly from Zaria. From Zaria. Yeah. Go ahead with your question. I want to ask the honorable minister. You say currently that going on the other states, other other states of Nigeria like Abuja, Kaduna, Tanu, and the Lagos. For the east, okay. He wants like to know question. whether they are whether it's the same thing, whether they are project for the southeast. Okay, thank you. The minister will respond to you. Uh, let's take two more. I mean, one more call, <laughs> then you can respond to the ones we have on ground. Okay, I have some questions here. I thought you were. Yeah, saying, let's take a question from me. <laughs> no, no, they are, they are from WhatsApp too. They are part of it. Somebody's name here is Olivia. She's concerned about the Lagos Ibadan Railway, which you have just, which you have always told Nigerians will be ready in December and commission latest January. She said, I know you just spoke about it, but can Nigerians hold you by your word that this rail line will be delivered before the election? Hope it will not be abandoned. That is one question here. Yeah, another one. Sorry, another one is uh, Honorable Minister. His name is Ibrahim from Bauchi. What is your preparation to us here in the Northeast about the road linking Bauchi to other states? Because we need express. To I'm not. I'm not the Minister for Southern Key Roads. I know, but that's his question. Okay, please. Can you quickly respond to the one? We okay, let's. Have let let, let me start with um, the first caller who mentioned about the dredging of River Niger. Uh, the uh, capital dredging has taken place, uh, and then what we're doing now is maintenance dredging. Uh, I, I went to flag off when the SGF was then the 
the managing director of New. I went to flag off the in-house maintenance dredger. Okay. In-house means that instead of awarding the contract to contract us to dredge, we are now using our dredger and order to dredge the river Niger. Uh, the draft is about uh, 2.5 to 3.5 uh, meters. Uh, on the river port is where I close the next one to two months we would have concessioned it out to a firm. There's, there's a, a, a company that was successful but we've not run it off. When we finish we'll concession, concession it to the company and they will, t- they will take it over and, and make it run. Similarly, Barrow Seaport, uh, Barrow River Port is uh, co- we completed this December and by January we'll commission Barrow, Barrow River Port. Uh, the gentleman asked about Potakot Medjugorje. Uh, whether there's any line to to Adama. Yeah, to Adama. Potakot Medjugorje is Potakot Aba. Potakot Aba. Hmm. Umahia. Okay. Then there's another <coughs> line coming from the same Potakot to Weri, Potakot to Weri, Potakot to Weri, Weri to Newi, Newi to Oka, Oka to. Enugu, Enugu to uh, what's the capital of uh, Abakliki? Abakliki, that's a point. That's a point, yes. Then the the one coming from Umaya, we then go from Umaya to Enugu and continue from Enugu to uh, Makodi, Makodi to Lafia, Lafia to Jos, Jos to Bauchi, uh, Bauchi to Gombe, at Gombe, that's a tea off to. Um, and the tea of to Damaturu and Yola. That's Yobe, mm. Damaturu, Damaturu, Yola. That's another tea of to Yola, but I fear by the one of Yola. But whatever it happens, uh, there's a tea of to the Yola, and there's a final one that takes you to Medjugorje. To Medjugorje. That's the Lagos to Medjugorje. Okay, so. The person, uh, some, this person asked the general question if we will complete or completed project. Of course, we are doing that. The mandate given to us by the president is. To, reduce as much as possible new contracts and ensure that uh, we clean up the old contracts. When I hear complaint from the Igbo nation, I say they must remember to that I'm an Igbo man. My name is Chibi Kamichi. They will say, why did I keep putting me? But what it means by doing it. And there's no other name that can be finer than Chibi Kamichi in Igbo land. What I mean by that is anybody can tell you what it means of Chibi if you're an Igbo man. Nobody can tell you what is the meaning of Amechi if you're a Ibuma, if you're an Ibuma. So I wonder how else I can be an Ibuma. But let's deal with the issues raised about projects in the, you know, in the eastern Nigeria. Uh, or the Ubu nation, like the man called it. Mm. And the second speaker who talked about why are we concessioning projects in the Ibu land, when the other side, whatever. Yeah. The, 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 the one I just mentioned now said that begins from protocol to Mediburi. It's not concession. <laughs> it's a contract. But we've not finished the, the process. We have to go through the process. Before we finish, it will go to cabinet. Cabinet will approve. Then we we'll start looking for money. Because all these contracts are by loan. So they must ask the National Assembly to approve the borrowing plan that was sent to them. So uh, the Igbo Nation and the Eastern Nigerian question have been answered by the fact that there are projects there, but they have not been awarded. They, they will be awarded in the next one to two weeks. Then we'll look for money to commence construction. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> the program, once again, is still Have Your Say. I have with me in the studios the Honorable Minister of Transportation, Right Honorable Rotimechi Bukwe Amechi. You can call us in, you can send your text messages, you can send your WhatsApp messages, and you can follow us on all our social media handle. Have Your Say with the capital H, Y S, completing it on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. And we're also live streaming this program on YouTube. Have your say. You can call in and you can join us by any of these uh, handles. Um, we are right now taking calls. The next person, please, you are on. Just tell us your name and where you're calling from. Hello, good morning. Good morning. This is Radio Minister calling from Kuzmin, Anambra State. The question I want to ask the Honorable Minister we, before we had uh, this uh, Abuja Kaduna Rail, uh, very soon that we are going to have the city trans zone. But up to now, we haven't seen anything in Abuja as the city trans zone. When is it going to commence? Okay. Thank you. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's a, there's a, I don't know if you know that there's a rail line in Abuja. You've gone off air? 
I think it's gone off here. It's gone off here. But you can keep his question. Other people are already calling in. Your name, you are on. Please tell us your name and where you're calling from. Good morning. Yeah, this is Lugaman calling you from Eche, ethnic nationality. Eche. Eche. Yes, Please go Luga ahead, Lugaman. That's Luga. that's diversity. Yeah, yeah my Luga man. sister of APC in the South South, I agree to. Good morning. The Lion of Nigeria, I agree to. You know, I don't, I don't, I, let me tell you to the public, I yeah. don't actually feel comfortable yeah. with these names. You know, when we yeah, see Niger, I when we see a lion, all of us will run away, including me. If a lion enters this room now, the way I will run. Hello? <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I, go ahead. I, I, Look want thank, I want to, I want to thank my leader for work, for the work he's doing in Nigeria. Because in his ministry, he's performing very, very well, very, very excellent. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank you, Logan. We are proud of you. We are proud of you in River State. Thank yes, you. Let me go straight to the Mama Yuka's question. Sir? Yes. Please, the railway from Port Harcourt to Nugu, I, 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 I was in the railway from the business back going to Nugu. I saw your handwork. Your work is very, very fantastic. Now I want to uh, I want to go on on your uh, appointment as this very campaign organization. Please, sir, what measures are you putting in place so that we will take over the the, the in 2019? We are ready then. Now we don't need to take because it over. I am, uh, I, am I, will be, I will be I will be very very happy if Wari will be re-elected. Okay. Because I know what they are going to as a DG. He knows your capability. I know what he can do. Please, sir, I want River State APC to be in peace so that we can fight this fight and remove this this, this present government that we are suffering in this state out of, out of government. Because we are suffering in River State. This is left office. This is left office, sir. We are suffering. Things are not... Okay, I've heard yeah, you. Line went off. We've had enough. Ad, uh, Ada from Jos, good morning. Good morning. Ada, Ada, no, I'm calling from Jos. Ada, how are you? Good morning, honorable minister. Thank you. I, I want to find out um, is it possible to accommodate uh, that is, uh, transportation of fuel using. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, to, to take care of, you know, to talk about the carriage that has been removed. Yes, wet, wet cargo. Then, uh, then uh, about, uh, about, uh, about, uh, about uh, you're being the, that is, uh, this uh, election campaign manager or whatever. It is okay, but all I, all, I'm, all I want is let there be a free and fair election. And the, corner, the last column call now, Wike is working. I don't come from River State. I'm being objective. The man is working. God bless Nigeria. God bless you. Okay, before you take some of these questions, I have one or two also on WhatsApp. Um, Aliyu Ladan from Zamfara. We, are, we appreciate you for... Well, hello, good morning. From, we are very appreciative for this administration. My question is that, is there any project concerning an expressway, that is a road, from Kaduna to Kebi? Thank you, sir. That's what he wants to know, if there's any road from Kaduna to Kebi. I will not know. The Minister for, the minister for Works will know. I know. Another one is asking why is it that during Christmas period, transportation prices always go high, Again? and then fuel always go up. <laughs> what plans have you no, no, made? No, 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 that would be unfair. We've been in power for three years. Have you had fuel queue for three years? Well, we had sometimes last year. Well, at, at, at what stage? <laughs> it disappeared in matters of one or two weeks. <coughs> like before, you have it throughout the Christmas season and all that. I don't think, I don't think that question is being fair to us. So we, we do okay today is uh what today is it today is sixth today is sixth of um december seven. no queue up to now before by now the queues would have started people are panic so, buying and so all hopefully that. you are assuring nigerians that there will be no queue i've been assured by the minister for petroleum okay sir. Of petroleum, no thank queue. you thank you more questions coming in now. good morning where are you calling from your name please yeah, good morning my name is Mokka. i'm calling from zamfara as well. from zamfara yeah, good morning, the Honorable Minister. I say kudos to the present administration. We are happy about this. Good morning. Of the governor. Well, you know, uh, secondly, you, my you know, question the... is uh, about the railway here in the campus. Is the railway is, is being completely neglected because it is a vital um, 
infrastructure in the state. Within the federal government as well, legislative, please, what can I, what can you do about this? Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. The question, the minister. That's how it's simple. We don't build roads, we build railways. Good morning. Where are you calling from? Your name, please. Good morning. I'm calling from Senegal. My name is Rafael. From where? Rafael Suleja. So say, I thought you said Senegal. Yes. <laughs> I don't minister, please. I want to know what is happening with Calabar Seaport. Calabar Seaport. Seaport has been abandoned for a very long time. Calabar please. Seaport. Okay. Please thank you. Seaport in Calabar. Thank you. Let's take and one last phone call. Medibri to Calabar Railway. No problem. No, Lagos to Lagos to Lagos to Calabar. Yeah, Lagos to Calabar. Calabar. So Lagos. Mm, so, yes. I mean the first one and next And let's take this final call. Your name, good morning, and where you're calling from. My name is Mohammed from Yola. Okay, Mohammed from Yola. Good morning. Uh, you are on to have your say. Bombayola Road. Bombayola Road. Uh, yeah, it has been given for a very long time. And I think he thinks the walk is, is, is too slow. So <laughs> please, can you respond to some of the no, ones you already have? Yes, I thought you said that's the final call. Well, I've made this the final call for now until you respond to this one. <laughs> a lot of them are still online, so but let me <laughs> allow the, you to respond to this one. The big from their calls is almost... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what, what, what I can respond to, the wet cargo, yes, we will provide wet cargo facilities so that if you're on the rail, you can move diesel, fuel, and all that, and it's safe by means you want to move it. The other question is what's happening to Calabas Seaport. Calabas Seaport requires uh, desilting, and we're doing that. We are uh, trying to award the contract for the setting of the Calabas Seaport. Finally, the last one, Gombe Yola Road. I don't work in the Ministry of Another Works. Another one is to talk about Meduguri to Abuja too. No, no. But I then, think because the, your transportation, they mix well, it well, up. That's I not think. the way the, it is in the government. I know. The, the, the works is in the hands of uh, the Minister for Works. Uh, oh, and housing. Housing and power. Power housing and works. Uh, power works and housing. Uh, I, I am responsible for land transportation, good, but that has to be with railway construction. And uh, we have policy, we also make policies on uh, road transportation, but we don't construct. Then we deal with aviation, we deal with maritime. Okay, um, what do you do about, what are you doing about aviation? We've been having constant, um, clearly airlines in Nigeria have a way of delaying flight, cancelling flight, no, and no, they no. don't... The government, the agencies don't allow that to happen. Uh, well, I was on the, um, a yeah, plane that was delayed be, for three hours. There must be operational reasons. Mm. You will say that we should minimize operational reasons, right? Well, I, I think we should because um, those are some of the questions that will come in here. People want to fly and some particular airlines especially have a way of delay. Do I mention one on there? Mm. Airpiece, for instance, have but a way of I delaying. Thought, I thought Airpiece was the... I, I stopped flying them for a while now because they've been very, very difficult to fly with Airpiece. <laughs> very well, difficult. They well, delay you, well, they, they waste your time. And uh, well, they, I think it's more of operational reasons. Um, some of them are taking too many routes. Exactly what I thought about Airpiece. Anyway, please go. <laughs> I did, that's why I didn't want to mention them, but it's been on for a while. Some other callers on, let's take them on. Good morning, your name and where you are calling from. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Engineer What is his name? Again? Engineer Nura Ibrahim Omar. Engineer Muna Idea or something. Nura Ibrahim Omar. Okay, Muna Ibrahim Omar. Nura N-U-I-E. N-U-I-E. Okay, please, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Guzo. He's calling from Guzo. I want to I'm also in the Honorable Minister. Uh, what I want to contribute is, first of all, honestly, for me, uh, maybe the government has done a lot of uh, work that are supposed to be commended. But along the way, we also want to add more, especially to, if you hear from the contribution of the people who are calling from the North East, there's supposed to be uh, a way a railway link that will make that will make the first city to be uh, a poor man. Like the one is going from Mabuja to Kaduna and, and so on. Likewise, also our own sector here, we already have the railway that is abandoned. Previously, when we were young, 
our own areas. That that helps tremendously to inform people for a for easy competition. Okay. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Some of these questions you have to explain. No? Uh, well, the truth is, some of there. the lines are too are not very but clear. It's from so, here. My uh, phone is it's, not it's, working. It's not. No, no. Actually, the phones are connected from outside, so the lines are good. It's just the network issues that we're having in the country. Mm -hmm. Have your say is on. I have with me as guest the Honorable Minister of Transportation, Right Honorable Rotimi. Mm -hmm. Launch the break. Launch the break. Break. So we'll be going on a short break now. And afterwards, we'll come back to more of your questions. Let's add some peace. Nigerians are peace-loving and hard-working people. And countries only develop and grow when there is peace and stability. There are different kinds of problems in every society and so in every country. If there are problems here, Nigeria is not an exception. There is no society, no country where violence and public disorder has solved a problem. No matter the problem, no matter the issue. Let us sit down like brothers and sisters. Use dialogue to resolve the problems. Remember, you you have to give account of every action you take, if not here on earth, then before your creator. Please let us work together, together for, for a peaceful, peaceful Nigeria. Nigeria. Let us work together, Nigeria will be great. Welcome back to Have Your Say. I am Ayo Oyalowo, your host, and I still have in the studio with me the Minister of Transportation, the Right Honorable Rotimi Chibuku Amechi. You can continue to call in and send in your messages via WhatsApp, uh, via phone numbers. You can call us on 0807 622 You can also call 0705 149 Double three two four, and the last number you can reach us on is zero eight one eight zero seven five eight two seven six. You can send us SMS or WhatsApp to zero nine zero two eight zero eight zero triple two zero nine two zero. I mean zero nine zero two eight zero eight zero triple two your SMS and WhatsApp only for that line. Um, on WhatsApp, sir, some people are already asking that, uh, Honorable Minister, isn't this, okay, fine. Somebody, somebody is actually defending you here that some of the questions are not for you. It's for the Ministry of Transportation, so. Mr. of Works. Of, I mean, of Works. So, apparently people are getting what you are saying. So I'm not touching the question. <laughs> Good morning. Where are you calling from? Your name, please. Good morning, I'm Stanley from, from, from Patakot, Emeka Stanley. Emeka Stanley from Patakot. Yeah, Patakot. Uh, I'm proud of you, and you will not even see you. I'm very proud of you. Continue your good work. Thank you. As a gathered to four, all will strengthen you, my Amen. To next, to next lecture. God bless you. I'm proud of you. Emeka, please stop. What we want them first. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Good morning. Hello. Your name and where you are calling from? My name is Biliamin Dambu. Biliamin Dambu. 
from Zamfara. Yes, what I want of my let us talk to the only two, Mister Minister. My question here is that before uh, from Kokoto to the first case to us, it's on now construction. I think I passed the road last month. It's on now construction, but now I, I went to go to the people in the city. The line is quite bad. The connection is bad. Good morning. Your name and where Good you are morning, calling from. Sir. You are on to have your say. Uh, my, my, my name is Mr. Pastor. I'm calling from Gagorada, Abuja. Good morning, sir. The right honorable to be there. Good morning, sir. The lion. Good morning, sir. Wait, cut him off. I did not. The network cut him off. It's your network. Okay, well, right. it's, uh, right. we have to talk to NCC to help us. Good morning, your name and where you are calling from. My name is from Patrick. very good to just. I don't know if you look about that. And this is so fair. I don't know what is happening because I'm going to help from the Go and vote. Go and vote for APC first now. Do you hear me? He's off the line. Why did you put him off the line? I did not. Network did. Good morning. Your name and where you are calling from. You are welcome to have your say. Good morning. My name is Abu Bakar. I'm calling from Kebi State. Okay, Abu Bakar from Kebi State. Good morning. Oh, good morning. I just want to say welcome to Minister on this program. Go ahead. Hello, I can you? You. Go ahead. I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you. you can, I hope you're not. I, I can no, hear you. I, I didn't touch it. The network went off. I touch it. It's the network. Good morning. Have your say. What your name and where you're calling from? Hello. My name is Umar Gambo from Katsina. Okay, Umar Gambo from Katsina. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Umar. Go ahead with your... Oh, my God. It has gone off. Okay, I have a question here. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Honorable Minister and the presenter. Sir, about the lesion of the Kano Casino Road, how far with it? I didn't, I'm not Minister for... Well, I'm just reading this question. I know. Apparently, it will keep coming. <coughs> Ogazi, please, your name and where you are calling from. Good morning. Good morning, presenter. Good morning. Honor to Honorable Minister in the House. Thank you very much. Ogazi Norris in Abuja. Okay, Ogazi. Go ahead. But when men of Tata of change and access managers come on board, the people will just... He was trying to praise you and the, I think uh, NCC is, is trying to fight against you, sir. No, it's not, it's not against I don't want praise <laughs> too. I just want, I just want to hear about it. Good yes. morning. Yeah, fear is another. Your name and where you are calling from, you are welcome to have your say. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, good morning. Good morning. My name is Ashiko from Zamfara. From Zamfara. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we are seeing some people... They are hearing some people are saying our project from Zamfara to Tokoto inside the budget. But we have seen nothing. No. But you said there's a project from Zamfara to Tokoto and they are yet to see anything. Uh, what project is it now? It's, no railway, it's not a railway project. These are general questions. But I'm almost going there. Hello, good morning. Yeah, hello, good morning. Uh, I think he can. What time is? I think he can stop calls. Well, we will stop the calls now. We will just take m most of the text messages oh, gosh. and um, the WhatsApp yes. messages. Okay. Uh, one of the question is: uh, Good morning. 
Please, why is it that the railway is not functioning anymore in Guzal and Karen Namoda? It's part of the it's part of the new uh, concession we're giving to the Transnet. When we get when we get through with the trans uh, with the concession, they will then be able to do the. That's uh, Nafio Dahiro from Guzal. Yeah, but I'm saying so they will rehabilitate the narrow gauge, which will okay. take it to to Guzal and uh, Karen Namoda. Okay, so they are part of the concession. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope Dahiro was listening there. Uh, well, um, I'm trying to see if we can get more questions online since the network seems to be uh, not doing particularly well. So, um, sorry, let me take one or two of mm. questions here. Mm. Okay, somebody say good morning, Honorable Minister. I appreciate your government for the continuity of past project. This is what is expected of every every government, be it federal and so on and so forth. He didn't put his name, unfortunately. Then, good morning, DG campaign. When will you start railway project in Adamawa State and Taraba State? I've already answered that. Well, he's just asking me now. The, the message came in just now. No text messages yet. What we are having right now is uh, strictly... Because the question on text message is on, on road and he has clearly said it's not his own uh, purview. It's not so, the, uh, but somebody is asking what is the provision your ministry is doing to connect Kebi State with railway? Apparently he's a Kebi person. That's, From that's, Mohammed Hulu, we're, doing, Kebi. we're doing a feasibility study to tell us we, we want to connect from Jibia to, uh, to Zanfara to Kebi and then Zanfara to Sukutu. Okay. So I hope you are listening Mohammed Hudu Kebi they are trying something is trying to i mean the ministry is working on something for you um sorry let me just take more questions here because apparently the line let me try one line maybe it will work let's try one well another question here is what should nigerians expect from your ministry going forward well, we, we, the, the, if we complete all the rail projects, it will take you another ten years to complete it. There are quite too many, or too numerous. Uh, you have the, you have the. Uh, I didn't even mention the central line. The central line runs from Abuja to Baro, from Baro to to Itabe, and then joins Itabe to Wari. Okay, you said you're already making that commercial very soon, so that there no, will be stations. Be, and yes, and after also conclude the stations, we will we'll get people to. So hopefully people from people can move from that area to up to, to, up, to up to Abuja or from Abuja to Warri, yes. Are we going to be having lines that connect each other? Maybe if a straight if you want to go to point A to point B. The if you follow the Warri Abuja line close to Warri, you will see where the the coastal line meets meets, meets the central line. Okay. So you can actually transfer. Like let's, it's say, done let's, in say, some other let's say you're going to let's say you're going to Lagos from Abuja, and you don't want to go by the uh, Lagos kind of line. You can actually take off and get to worry, transfer from Wari to uh, to Lagos. Okay, so aside from the major rail project, what other project is your ministry embarking on? I've talked about the reform, no. the reform, reform. in both Nimasa and MPA. Nimasa is not a contract awarding agency, but when we came, that's all they were doing. It's the recruiting agency. We've succeeded in, in reforming it to make sure that it, it does all its responsibility in terms of regulation. Uh, this, the, uh, what was it called? MPA is not a recruiting agency. MPA is a commercial agency, and it runs uh, this with three transactions at the seaport. So we are ensuring that we maintain the old seaport that we have. The old we need to expand. We've awarded new co new contracts. There is the Lekki Deep Seaport that's ongoing. There is the Bonny Deep Seaport, which we are looking for money to start construction. And there is the Warren Deep Seaport. Okay, so we have about three deep seaports that, that is coming. But what you currently have is just, you, what you have, you have river ports. And you need to, Nigerians need to know that river ports are not the best. What What is the best is the, is the deep seaport. Because this one can take larger vessels. Vessels, 16 meters vessels. What you have now are, are vessels that can maximum 11 meters. Mm. When others are, they are, so leaving, they are leaving you behind. So, but how soon are those ones going to be ready to? As soon as money comes, you must know that we're looking for money. <laughs> I saw I saw a critic of me today in one of the social media that because I said that uh, the construction of the rail line from Potakot to Medjugorje will cost us 12 billion, and that's not easy to come by. 
and man just took me to the field and said, the truth is that the money is not easy to come by, but we're looking for the money. Once we get the loan, we start construction. Okay, you're already looking towards getting the loans for the construction. Yeah, we are. We are on the search for the money for the Potakot Mediburi. Okay. The Potakot uh, Leg- uh, Lagos Calabar and then the central line that terminates at Wari. Central line starts from Abuja here. Abuja to, to Baro. Baro to Itabe. Itabe to Lokuja, Lokuja to Jukuta. So hopefully, even if you can't complete it, at least it's let's, clear let's, that there is a plan for the entire Nigeria the whole to country, recover. The by, whole country, the whole country. By real the whole country. Okay. But at least we are completing the ones that we are already constructing. The problem we have is funding. Well, uh, uh, when we get the fund, you will see the difference. I must commend your ministry for what you did on the Abuja runway you know, some years back, just in a short while. But is there any plan to construct a second runway for Abuja? Is it, is it runway, where there is, it's in the budget. Okay. But runway is determined by... No, something happened to me last week when I was coming. Mm. The president was coming in, mm. and then they, they they kept us on the air for a while. That's it happens it everywhere. It's not, it's so not happened to I, you in I, America. I, I was thinking that if we have more than one wrong If you have ten wrong ways, you will not come down. You have to be there until the president comes down. That's the regulation. And it's not because he's president of Nigeria. It's happened to me in America. It's happened to me, me in Ghana and all that. But so it's a normal practice. It's normal. Though. Normal. It can be. You can't be close to, I don't know how many meters, but you can't just get close to the way. It's, it's, one day if you become president, you will see what you understand what I'm talking about. That's a good prayer, yes. One day if I become. And uh-huh. finally, my last question to you will be on uh, equipment. Hmm. You know, in, in Heathrow, flights take off every 30 seconds. Hmm. But here it's about five, five minutes. Is there a way we can... It's not uh, equipment, it's not equipment based. So what is... You're, you're not under pressure here. I'm not under pressure at all. What 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 is here is safety is also an issue. Don't rush and rush people to death. But if others can do it, we should be able to look at maybe well, the volume of the, the volume of trade, the, the volume of, of activities will increase will improve the. Facilities. So it's not about equipment. It's no, no, about no. volume of this will improve the facilities and the number of facilities we employ. Okay, thank you very much for today. We have had in the studio the Honorable Minister of Transportation. Right, Honorable Roti Mechi Buka Mechi has been engaging, even though we've had some challenges with the lines. But we have, um, we are grateful to Nigerians who called in, to those who sent text messages, to those who sent us messages on WhatsApp. We are very, very appreciative. We thank you for calling in. Let's do this again next Thursday. With me, I've been, I've had in the studio as a studio manager, Prince Afone Gweze. My associate producer has been Nola Yemi Dania and Conrad Labe. The photographer we have with us has been Jubre Kazim. And my tireless producer, Oledo Mbiwe. The Oledo. live streaming has come to you via Tokumbo Alan, while camera operation has been Peter Moses. The engineer in the house has been Hassan Usman, while the people who have been handling my ICT is Benson Adeola and Israel Tioka. Our executive producer is Sani Suleiman. We well, thank you. I am Ayo Oyalawo, your host, and I will be doing this again with you next week, Thursday. 10 a.m. Join us for Have Your Say.